All right, well, I'm out of work a little bit earlier than I usually am. And uh, my neck's feeling good. I had a slight uh, mishap uh, a couple weeks ago. But uh, yeah, so I'm feeling good. I think I'm gonna go for a ride. It's uh, beautiful out, it's cold. It's like 41 degrees, but uh, the skies are blue. And you gotta take advantage of that in Northern Michigan in April. So I'm gonna go for a little ride and uh, test out this new camera I got. I got a uh, GoPro 12 uh, Creators Edition. The GoPro Black, I think it's called. And uh, that's what we're filming on now. And we're just gonna go see how it does and uh, test it out. Cause I have really haven't a whole lot of experience with this thing at all, other than a few playing around things I've been doing the last few days. So yeah, let's uh, get on the bike and uh, and go. I don't have a, a mount yet. I just ordered one actually for my for my GoPro, or sorry, for my, my Neotech here. So I'm gonna mount that onto the helmet you know, and do the whole thing here at my chin and uh, and do that type of stuff. But I'm looking for recommendations from any of you on a microphone setup for that. Um, there's a million of them out there, but I don't want to spend a trillion dollars on one, but I also don't want to get a cheap one that I have to replace in, you know, two or three videos. So um, anyways, we'll see you guys uh, at the beach. All right, so here we are. We are at Good Harbor Beach. Hopefully the wind isn't too terrible for you guys. But uh, this is what we get up here in northern Michigan. You can see off in the distance over that way is uh, that's Sleeping Bear Sand Dunes. Um, definitely look that up. It's a really cool place up here, very unique. Back in the days, you used to have cars that would go up the sand dunes, give people lifts, but, you know, they finally came to their senses and said, no motor vehicles on that, which is cool. But, yeah, let's go check out the water. All right, we're down here by the water. We got some uh, decent-sized waves coming in today. Nothing huge, but, yeah. Beautiful. This water, man, it just it reminds me of like the Caribbean. Nice and beautiful blue color. It's, it's pretty badass. I love it up here. I wouldn't trade Northern Michigan for the world. Except sometime in like February. And I'm like, you know, I want to go somewhere warm. Yeah, so that is uh, Good Harbor Beach here off of uh, M22. So uh, this is kind of a little bit about that all through the Sleeping Bear Sand Dunes National Lakeshore here. It's a beautiful area, man. This whole, you know, this is Lake Michigan going out and we're standing right here. So over here are the Manitou Islands, which you can kind of see. I wish there was a zoom on these things. Maybe there is. But it talks about all the safety stuff, things like that. And riptides are a real thing up here, especially on the big water. You know going out so if you were to float out you'd hit one of the islands and you just keep floating until you hit the uh you know the south shore of uh of the upper peninsula or wisconsin whichever whichever way it takes you but um yeah all sorts of cool little spots like this we got you know bear proof cans you, know, you got a restroom you know just really really cool stuff like that and a lot of times we have stuff here for your feet and you know, your typical beach stuff. We have uh, they have spots too for like dog water bowls and things like that. But it's beautiful. I like to come here early in the in the season because there's nobody here. But in the summertime, this road here, this is Bohemia, and M22 runs north and south like that. And this road will be will be jam packed all the way down there to that curve. So we're a big uh, tourist destination up this way which is great but it also sucks sometimes right so but anyways we're gonna hop back on the bike and uh probably head back to the house like i said it's about 40 degrees right now and it's uh a little chilly probably a little windy i have no idea if you guys can even hear any of this but uh oh, i'll show you guys one more thing it's not my bike either you know looking good with those eagle lights on it you can see way out there 
some of the sleeping bear dunes right about there really cool so just a beautiful spot to come and, and relax you got the nice sandy beaches just really cool and it's it's clean man they, they keep this super clean the people who come up here for the most part keep it clean the locals around here are, are diligent about uh, making sure no one comes up here and, and messes us up so every once in a while we get the downstaters or you know out-of-staters that come up here and just use it as, as a trash can but uh we like to uh we like to police it ourselves if you know what i mean so um people up here are not too scared to tell you to pick up your trash and if you don't they uh they'll do it for you in a very nice way but uh all right i'm gonna hop back on the bike get back in the garage where it's nice and warm digits are starting to fall off but uh we'll see you guys in a minute all right so i lied we're not going home we came over here to inspiration point which is another super awesome lookout Okay, you can see Mantua Island over there. This lake here is uh, Little Glen. Then you jump it. Glen, <laughs> Little Glen. Then you jump it, and there's Lake Michigan. Um, where we were at, at the last part of the video, we were somewhere over that way. But uh, again, another just beautiful, beautiful spot. Pretty secluded again today, because it's, uh, you know, Wednesday afternoon. And all those suckers are at work. <laughs> but uh, I'm the only bike on the road today, which kind of surprises me. I mean, it is cold, but the sun's out. And the blue skies are bluing. So why not get out and do stuff? But uh, whatever. Then there's this cool little bench here. It's the old Fred Flintstone uh, Lazy Boy. But I do like coming here quite a bit. I sit right here and I'll turn you guys around and it's pretty awesome. I'm telling you man, the beauty of Northern Michigan, it just, to me, it can't be beat anywhere. I've been all over, literally all over the world. And uh, each, you know, each spot has its own little special place. But for me, there's nothing like the smell of the pines, the fresh water, you know, it's just, it's, it's amazing. Then you get little little pieces of heaven like this that you just sit down, relax, and forget about all your issues for a little bit. And believe me, I'm full of issues. But right, it's time to head back. Again, my fingers are still numb. And, uh, you know, I shouldn't be out here doing all this stuff. I'm supposed to be on uh, light duty. So we'll see you back at the house for real this time. All right, we are finally home. I did make one more stop after the last stop where I said I was going to go right home, but I found a really cool campground, um, actually like 15, 20 minutes away from my house I'd never even heard of, so um, kind of cool. So I went through there. It's a really tiny little state one, and uh, right on a lake too, so there's a lot of like, uh, there's a few lakefront uh, spots you can get. And uh, I think I'm going to check that out just because it's uh, be kind of a fun overnight thing to do. And... Uh, test out some of the new camping gear I got. I ended up buying a, a little propane stove thing and you know, it'd be kind of neat before I actually go out on the on the big road and, and see see that it doesn't work or something done. But uh, yeah, that's it. I don't have a whole lot going on. I, um, again, kind of had a little bit of an injury a couple weeks ago that uh, put me back. But uh, that kind of things happens and you know, thank God for hard hats, so. Not gonna get too much details about it, but uh, this thing, this thing saved my life that day. So um, I'm pretty cool uh, with wearing those at all times now when I'm at anywhere that requires a hard hat. So, but I, I do appreciate you guys. Uh, hopefully, all this came through pretty well. I'm still getting used to this new uh, camera thing. This is the first actual video I'm gonna be filming on it. Um, I did a couple of, you know, one minute, two minute little things with it, just joking around and playing around with it. But uh, now I just got to figure out the editing. I hope I can still use the editing that I normally use. So before I was primarily uh, filming on the iPhone, um, iPhone 15 Pro or Max, whatever it's called. And uh, I never filmed before or did anything like that before. So I was using uh, iMovie, which is something that Apple created, obviously. 
and uh, it's pretty much dummy proof. So um, GoPro does have their own editing software um, that is pretty pretty intense, I guess. I don't know. Different, I'll say. Maybe not intense, but different. So I got to play with that a little bit, but I'm hoping I can still like download these clips onto my phone and still use the iMovie for right now. Um, but again, no, I am looking to upgrade. I did order a uh, chin mount for my bike, or for my helmet, excuse me, with an arm on it. And then um, looking for suggestions on a, um, on a good microphone to put inside the helmet that works with a modular. Um, and then any editing software, if anyone has any editing software out there that's, uh, that's good to do for a small channel like mine. Again, I'm not going for, um, you know, cinematic Star Wars type movie features. Um, this is the best you're going to get from me. But, uh, you know, something that, that's easy to use, that can throw some music in there, and maybe even have some custom music. Um, I do have a line on getting my own uh, music intro done, which is kind of cool. So, um, we'll see. But, anyways, that's enough rambling for a little bit. I have to uh, get up super early in the morning and uh, head down to Grand Rapids for work. So, um, I'm going to cut this short today, and... Uh, Hopefully I can be back on the road here soon with some actual cool motorcycle stuff now that the weather's breaking. So I appreciate you guys. Um, remember, if you haven't hit that uh, subscribe button, please do that. It definitely helps us out a lot. And uh, as always, you know, ride with purpose. We'll see you guys next time. All right. I do this a lot. I side off too early. But I went inside, and uh, I had a few things waiting for me inside. And one of them was this uh, little, this guy. It's... Uh, a helmet holder. Mount it on the wall. Put your lid on it. There's a spot in his mouth there for your keys. I'm going to take that out. But uh, it was kind of cool. So I'm going to, usually with my with my cut, I, I hang it up over here on the screw. So I'm going to end up putting this up here somewhere. And then have a thing here for my for my club uh, vest. So that was kind of cool. I put a link in this uh, from Amazon. I think it was like $26 or something. It's uh you know, it says Harley Davidson on it on one side, and the other side says uh, Route 66. I thought it was a little bit bigger than what it actually is, but I think it'll work. It looks kind of neat. So then on top of that, I go inside, and uh, let me find them. Where'd they go? Here they are. My new, new stickers came in today. So... Same as the last ones, I just went with a different company just to see the difference of them. And then added a little subscribe thing. Um, might redo the design a little bit for the next batch so it's a little bit bigger so you can tell it's a YouTube channel. But anyways, I got stickers. So if you guys want some stickers, uh, drop me an email there. It's all in the description below. It's uh, knowmebikers, N-O-M-I, bikers at gmail.com. And uh, we'll do a, uh, a sticker swap. So, all right. Not for real. I got to go inside, take a shower, get ready for bed already because uh, 2 a.m. comes early. So right. we'll see you guys again. Appreciate you all, and uh, we'll see you very soon. Bye.